Promise me you won't waste the rest of your life in this shithole. Listen. You have actual talent and a voice. Don't waste it. Thanks. Will you be back to visit? You're my brother, but Ireland will never be my home. You don't want to miss your flight then? Just take that little ride of yours over with you and I'll show you both a good time. It's not like that. Please. Put it this way, if you don't fuck her, I'll ask her. <laughs> You're an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you, man. Just don't waste that voice. Might see you in LA. All that belt tightening and cutbacks and the fancy stuff paid off. Yeah, cut back on all the luxuries for the kids. And I bet you the kids didn't even know it. There's nothing like a bit of struggle, Sam, to develop character. So, eh. Uh, where are you working now? I'm a secretary in the financial centre and then I'm working in the pub up the road. <laughs> That's great news. Any late starts? <laughs> no, no, very early mornings. Uh, but the the, bag, the, the buses, they'd be, uh, they'd be a torture, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's just trying to get the kids to school in the mornings, you know. I have to trust that they'll go themselves and some, they, don't, they don't always go, you know. <clears throat> you not think about getting a new car? <laughs> I've only just started the job. I'm putting away about a hundred a week. A hundred quid a week? Sam, for you, for a hundred quid a week, I can get you a loan for five grand. Get yourself a nice new car. <laughs> no, sure, I'd have to get the insurance and the tax and get something reliable. Five thousand wouldn't cover it. Look, because you're a good customer, for you, right, I can get you eight grand at a push, but I'll set you back about 180. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to do that. It could be tricky. But it could make it work for you. Just think, you driving the kids to school in the morning, saving all that time going into work. Do you think it's a good idea? Yeah. Give me a second, I'll ring the boss. <laughs> How are you, Nick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just with Sam. Yeah, looking for a taco. Actually, a double. Cheers, pal. Talk to everyone. Roy, do you want the good news or the bad news first? Yeah, both together. You've been approved, your loan. But it's going to cost you 200 quid a week. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Uh, do you have the two jobs and everything? Happy days, Sam. Um, look, all I need is your signature at the top of this page. Right, there's a pen. There you go, just take that pen. Yeah, just hold that there. Yeah, and what we're going to do is we're going to sign it just at the top. We've done it loads of times before. No, just at the top here, right there in that box. Uh, Loyal customer that you were. Beautiful handwriting, Sam. Mm. Mm. And you're nearly done. And there you go. I'll take that back off you. Thank you. All right, I keep that. And uh, right, right. Yeah. So right, there's A for you. Your other loan is cleared up, and uh, I'll see you next week for your first payment. Um, would you make us a cup of tea, Sam? You can go now. All right. Thanks for all your help. Hey, Dad. There's no need for you to call around. I told Becca over the phone the same thing I'm telling you now. I'm fine. I know what fine stands for. Enlighten me. Fucked up, insecure, neurotic and emotional. <laughs> oh, she was great for her one-liners. Now look, you've done your civic duty. I'm alive. Please inform the rest of the family. I just want to be left alone. I have a surprise for you in the village. It will only take two minutes and I'll drive you straight back. I take it... If I agree to this, you leave me alone. I'll leave you and your birds in peace for the weekend, and I'll call off the hounds. Right so, I'll get me coat. <laughs> 